welcome to this complete node js course without wasting any time let me introduce to you with node js so first let me know how many of you think javascript can only run inside the browser if you think javascript can run only inside the browser then you are right and if you think javascript can run in the browser as well as inside the server then also you are right but the first case that is javascript can only be run inside the browser is valid before 2009 and after that node js was introduced using which we can run javascript outside the browser now let us see how this node js has completely changed javascript so first of all what is node js it is free open source cross platform javascript runtime environment that lets developers to create servers they can create web application cli tools as well as they can create scripts in this definition we are having three key features which is very important to understand first key feature is open source which means node js is completely free if you have started using node js and if you find you can improve node js you can improve the node js code because complete source code is available on the github you can easily contribute to development of node js and also if you are having any update you can easily share that updates so let me know how many of you are using the open source tools like vs code editor or linux whatever questions i am asking if you are having the answer you can paste your answers in comment section second feature is cross platform node js can work on windows mac os and linux so this complete course i am recording in windows if you are using windows or mac or linux then you don't have to worry because it is a cross platform which means it can be used on every operating system without facing any issues then third key feature very very important to understand node js is nothing but it is a javascript runtime environment so if you are already aware of javascript then you will be aware of v8 engine using chrome v8 engine we can execute our javascript code so here node also uses chrome's v8 engine to execute javascript outside the browser which means we can easily run javascript inside the servers using that a javascript language becomes the server side programming language if you are not using node js then javascript will be client side programming language if you are using node js while executing javascript then it becomes server side programming language to understand more about javascript runtime environment i have opened browser console inside this i will write console.log and here i will write hello i will hit enter i got the output i am able to execute the code because in each and every browser we are going to have javascript engine and here i have opened chrome browser inside this we will have v8 engine using which we are able to execute the javascript code inside our browser so here we have created runtime environment for javascript so inside the browser with the help of javascript engine we are able to execute the code so this is nothing but our javascript runtime environment now i have opened command prompt and this is completely independent of browser so same code i will try to execute inside this command prompt here i will have this error console.log is not recognized as an internal or external command but now i will be using node and node is nothing but it is a javascript runtime environment as soon as i hit enter now i have created separate environment now inside this i can write the same code console.log and here i will write hello as soon as i hit enter 
I am having the same result. So using node, what we are doing, we are creating JavaScript runtime environment where we are able to execute our JavaScript code. So we have seen two runtime environment. First is inside the browser and second using node, we are able to run JavaScript outside the browser. So that is the reason inside this command prompt, I am able to execute this code. So this is the basic example of runtime environment. Before starting with Node.js or before starting with any libraries or framework of JavaScript, you should always have understanding of JavaScript because JavaScript will be having almost same syntax for Node.js but the only difference is using Node.js we can connect with the database because this Node.js we are working in the backend so we can easily connect to the databases but if you are working JavaScript as a front-end programming language then you will not be able to connect to the database but Node.js gives us the power using which we can easily connect to the databases. So deeply we are going to understand about this concept in later session but as of now you should only understand Node.js is JavaScript environment which uses Chrome's V8 engine to execute JavaScript outside the browser. So if you are already aware of JavaScript then picking up Node.js will be very easy and it will be like you are using the same pen but in different environment. For example, you can use the pencil for drawing something and same pencil you can use for writing your notes. Similarly, if you are aware of JavaScript then you can have easy transition and you can easily learn Node.js. It is very very important to understand and also make a note Node.js is not a framework, it is not a library, it is not even a programming language. It is simply JavaScript environment which is created by Chrome's V8 engine. You don't have to worry what is Chrome's V8 engine, what is JavaScript environment one by one and in detail I will be explaining you each and everything. Now let us see JavaScript versus Node.js. Here I am having feature that is JavaScript and Node.js and first feature is environment. We can run JavaScript inside the browser and using Node.js we can run JavaScript outside the browser that is we can run JavaScript on servers. Second feature is database connectivity. Using only JavaScript it is not possible to connect to the database but if you are using Node.js we can easily connect to the databases. Then third feature file system access. This is completely restricted in JavaScript but if you are using Node.js then we have full access to file system. We can read the files, we can write the files, we can append the files, we can do lot of things with the files. Now from starting itself many of us will be having questions. Once we learn Node.js what are the things which can be built with Node.js? As I mentioned before 2009 JavaScript was only used inside the browser. We were creating website, we were adding dynamic interactions and mostly we were working on client side of the application. But in 2009 after the introduction of Node.js we can run JavaScript outside the browser using which JavaScript gets more power and it has new world of opportunities. So using Node.js we can build traditional websites, we can build backend services like APIs. If you are creating any application for each and everything you need API. So using this Node.js we can easily work on backend services like APIs. We can create real time applications like WhatsApp. We can create streaming services like Netflix, YouTube. We can create CLI tools that is command line interface tool. If I give some examples 
you have used command prompt that is command line interface tool you have used powershell that is also command line interface tool so using node.js you can easily create those kind of tools then you can create multiplayer games and all this is possible only because of node.js because node.js allows us to build complex and powerful application not only this if you learn node.js you will be having lot of opportunities because many famous applications or websites are built using node.js for example paypal linkedin netflix uber ebay walmart groupon and even many startups are using node.js so you will be having lot of opportunities once you get started with node.js so there is always demand for node.js developer so you don't have to worry if you learn node.js you are open for lot of opportunities apart from this you should also be aware where node.js is not suitable or basically where we cannot use node.js so node.js is not ideal for cpu intensive task like video rendering or scientific calculation and this cpu intensive task is nothing but it is a complex user actions which will be requiring lot of ram and it will heavily rely on our cpu so in that situation like video rendering image manipulation scientific calculation you cannot go for node.js but if you are preparing for this kind of project and if you need heavy computation then instead of choosing node.js you can go with other programming languages like python c++ ruby on rails using this you can perform heavy cpu intensive task but if your project is not having cpu intensive task then easily you can learn one programming language javascript and that language you can use both as front end and back end programming language and one more very important point of node js that is event driven architecture and this is one of the most important concept in this entire course so later step by step we are going to completely understand about this event driven architecture but remember the fact that node js applications are so fast and so scalable because node js is single threaded based on event driven non blocking io model which will be making node js lightweight making it efficient for handling multiple request even node js is single threaded using this concept we can make multiple request let us take the analogy if you are going for a restaurant waiter can take multiple orders if you are giving the order waiter don't have to wait for your order to complete waiter can go to other customer waiter can take multiple request waiter don't have to wait for completing the first order simultaneously waiter can take multiple orders and orders can be completed similarly node js will also be using the same concept it don't have to wait for long running task whatever task is completed accordingly it will be proceeding to the next task so this event driven architecture is very very important to understand why because even after node js is being single threaded it can handle multiple request and it follows non blocking io model which means multiple request will not be blocked if one request is taking lot of time now that we can use javascript outside the browser we can do so many things with javascript that were completely impossible before like we can access the file system or we can perform better networking capabilities and all this is possible only because of node js so node js is the best solution for using as a web server and we can finally use javascript on the server side of the web development we can build fast highly scalable network applications 
for powering the backend and creating amazing web applications and websites and using node.js you will see lot of things coming into life and this is absolutely fantastic and game changing for web development because if you are a beginner and if you don't want to learn lot of programming languages for front end back end then you can choose only javascript and easily you can use both in front end and back end and whatever it was not possible before now with the help of node js now you can create lot of things and the opportunities and the possibilities are endless so now that you have some questions is node js a framework library or language you can paste the answer in comment section and what engine powers node js so as a beginner let me know if you got some idea on node js and now you are excited to learn node js and you are ready to build complex applications using node js so in this complete course i will go very slow and step by step i will be explaining you each and every concept and at the end of the course as well as in the middle i will be creating project so that it will help you in your learning journey let me know your thoughts and feedback in the comment section and very important save this playlist because i am going to upload entire node js course in this playlist